Hi everyone, it's Andrea. Welcome back to my channel, Andrea's Attic. Just a disclaimer, this is an adult channel. We discuss adult topics on here. Um, this is a, a channel for hobbies such as colouring and photography and reading. Mostly we focus on colouring because it's relaxing. It's something I can do at the end of the night to wind down. We are currently working on a uh, Dreamtime special from Colouring Heaven, which is the Hannah Carlson edition. I also have the Hannah Carlson exclusive page, which I haven't printed out yet, but I will do soon and show you that. Um, so we've been doing the Sun and Moon um, opposites picture. So we're just going to zoom in because we're working on this side now. So we're using, we've used so far the um, Arteza Everblend markers and we're just using gel pens now for this and then I'm hoping I will do an acrylic background but I might just do that off camera like I did with the uh, last Care in Heaven book we did which was the um, the dark fantasy one and you'll see that finished background at the end of the month when we do our colouring pages wrap up which at the moment is very light I think I've only finished five so I'll just do this now I'm just doing all these orangey bits here so I want to say hello to all my new subscribers so my subscriber counts we can get jumping up and down and I'm not really worried about that because you're going to lose um, subscribers. I've got to be honest, I unsubscribe from people occasionally, especially if it's something I'm not interested in anymore or at the moment I'm not watching um, or it's something I subscribed to for a while because I was looking for certain information. I no longer need it. Um, some of the booktubers I no longer follow. I still follow most of them, but I don't follow all the ones I used to. And it's just because I don't have time to watch all the videos and because I'm focusing mostly on colouring I still do, the I, I keep the colouring ones and I'm still finding new colouring channels there as well. So yeah, it's not that I want to unsubscribe from a lot of people. Mostly when I unsubscribe though it generally is people who haven't posted a video for a long time and I'm not talking a month or two, I'm talking years or over a year so I mean I had a long break on my other channel and I don't often post on it um, which is the vinyl vlog one I just don't have time to make videos for too many channels what we're doing this work looking after Jennifer and eBay so this and eBay it all gets done at night when the others well not so much the eBay I sort of do the eBay as and when I can but some of it gets done at night after Paul's gone to bed and mostly the videos do as well. <coughs> because if Jennifer's up she just wants to watch CBeebies or play which is understandable and I want to play with her when she's awake um, and Paul doesn't really want to hear me rabbit into myself even though we know I'm talking to you guys. So. Work's been busy which is good I prefer it when it's busy because time goes quicker. I hate being bored, I hate having nothing to do, I hate it when there's not much work coming in. So that's good. eBay's not too bad, we are in profit for the month. I've had to buy some supplies. I had to buy some um, bubble mailers to put video games in because my brother gave me a load of video games to sell and, and Paul had a few as well and I've got some of those listed. <coughs> and I had to buy some clear garment bags just because I've only got like 17 left. I haven't bought any stock this week because I'm trying to get completely on top of my stock at the moment, of my clothing stock, and I'm not far off doing it. So <clears throat> I've got some stuff upstairs that needs to be measured, some stuff down here that needs to be measured. I'm not doing that tonight, I'll be doing that tomorrow because I'm doing all my filming today. Although I may film a bit tomorrow. It won't be much. Um. And then, um, excuse me, I've got um, about seven or eight items that need to be ironed. I use a steamer, I don't actually use an iron. Um, I use a handheld upright steamer. 
and then once I've done that there's another three items I've got three dresses um, six tops to steam and then two dresses to steam as well and that's it so I'm hoping that I'll have that finished by Tuesday when I can then I'll go to my normal sale if it's all if it's all done which it should be and that's how I want it I want it under control so that I can come home Tuesday with however many items it might be one it might be ten and then I can just photograph those new items ready for even if I don't list them straight away they're photographed they're drafted they're ready to go so because I've always got the cameras if I don't get any stock that I can work on. I've got some here that need to be looked at. One's definitely going in the bin, it's broken. Another one's got a broken catch but the lens is detachable and I might be able to get 30 quid for the lens if I give it a good clean, which I will do this weekend. It does need a good clean, it's absolutely filthy. And then um, there's two more that I need to sort out. I've got another pair of computer games down here to sort out. And I've still got loads more up in my shed. So that's cool. <clears throat> I've had two sales today which is great because I was starting to think I wasn't going to get any today and then I had two come in quite quickly one after the other they're not huge sales one was for seven pound plus shipping and the other one was I think 12 or 9.99 plus shipping something like that anyway so not huge sales but it all adds up and you know like I said we're in profit I've bought some supplies for this month I'm thinking of up in my eBay store. Now somebody said some people were being offered two months on the next store up, the featured store. I haven't seen anything about that yet so it wouldn't surprise me if I didn't get it but uh, I haven't looked at my email account that I use for eBay so I'm gonna have to check that and if I if I do have it I will just accept it because I'm planning on upgrading to that level of shop soon. So if it's there, I'll use it. And if it's not, I just carry on as I am. So yeah, it's nice when you list and you're thinking, oh my God, I'm never going to get any more sales because they come in slowly, especially with clothing. And it's, um, <coughs> excuse me, it is January. People are short of cash. And they are short. I mean, I'm short of cash. I've got, I don't get paid until next week and I am absolutely I'm practically on my knees. I'm not quite, I've still got a bit of money left. But last week and this week, Paul had to pay for all the shopping. And the, part of the reason is the car insurance has really lapped. And I'm still playing catch up after Christmas. And I'm not letting that happen this year. I am starting my Christmas shopping. My Christmas shopping, I am actually going to be starting in... Um, around June because obviously I'm going to have Jennifer's going to be a lot older she's going to be asking for things this year I, I think she will anyway so I'm thinking what I'm going to do is I know you know she likes a lot of CBB stuff so you you, you can get the some of the CBB characters as cuddly toys or as games so for instance there's the um moon and me toys she loves moon and me um you go to a peppy nana and she ca she copies you she, she goes nana it's so cute so i'll probably get her some moon and me stuff for her stocking so my plan is to start getting stocking fillers like that i, I just start doing it as soon as i can just little things here and there put them away so that come Christmas I've got everything for her stocking and then she won't be able to you know there'll be tons there for her so we've got um there's that I'll get some coloring books and some old pens or something because they're always running out and then in December all we'll do is add you know a bit of change usually have, well, we always used to have a bit of change in there and um what else some fruit and nuts fruit mostly i always used to have a, a, a tangerine or a satsuma some bits of chocolates 
Chris and she loves Terry's chocolate orange, so she might have one of those. But mostly it'll be just little toys. She'll be three. Oh, nearly three then. Gosh, she's two next week. So next week I am planning on doing a weekly vlog because it is her birthday next week. So I just think it would be nice to do one. There was another one here somewhere. I'm just going to put some in her hair. Some random circles. I know I covered one up, so. So, there's one there. So as you can see, she's got the moon drops and the, the moon lady's got sun drops. That's what I'm calling them. Um, yeah, I just need a little bit more here. I can just see a bit of a gap. So this is going to be really short because that's actually pretty much it other than the background. Let me just go and get my acrylic paint. Oh, I've got it here, but I've got to get the, the brushes and some water. Um, so I'm going to do blue. I've got a, a darkish blue and I've got a lightish blue and I've got a black and I'm thinking I'm going to make the dark blue darker and then lighten it out to, yeah uh, and do something like that I think I might just use the hmm. let me oh it's purple as well I'm not very good with acrylics I'll be back in a minute I'm just going to go and get my um, painting supplies okay so I've put some paper underneath the um, book so that I don't paint the table like I did last time, excuse me, hitting it and I've got some it's not a very light blue, it's quite a dark it's not a dark blue but it's not a light blue um, I was thinking about darkening I did try and darken it down with some black but it just went too dark and then I couldn't get it to look nice so we're just going to do it a bit of a background I don't like leaving white pages so, so who knows what it'll be like. So this is all I do, I just put some acrylic paint on it and I just I usually put a drop a couple of drops of water in just to help. But it just seems to be going everywhere at the moment. So it's sliding it down a bit. I'll see it makes it oh, that's better. So it's a quite a, a light colour. But it's not the lightest colour I've got. That's a bit better. It's going on. So I did this with the with the background on the uh, Women's Girls at Work picture as well. I just used the yellows and I mixed the yellow, the bright yellow, with another. I think it was an orange with a yellow or something like that. Anyway, so I'm just gonna pop that across my teacup. I'm not sure where else to put it really. There we go. I'm just going to get a smaller brush to do around the, the stars and circles. If I go over them, it's not a major issue. I can always put them back. If I don't do this on camera, it's going to be a very short video. It's a nicer blue than it looks on camera. It doesn't look so nice on camera, but it's a really lovely colour. It is quite difficult to do this, actually, because being left-handed, I'll just move my... I use this sort of like little tray. It's actually from a lunch box, and I bought it from Lidl's because I wanted a box to put dead batteries in from when I was... from when I'm testing like electronic games, you know, like I've got some I got bop pits, I still haven't done them. Um you get so many and cameras again you get so many dead batteries that you have to uh take out and dispose of that. I save them all up in the pot this came out of there's another big pot as well. And um then I take them to one of the places that recycles or disposes of batteries safely. So my local waste station, or TIP as we call it. Oops. That's not a very good one. They um, take them, but also little supermarket 
also takes them. Have I got a smaller paintbrush? Let me see. I think I have. I won't be a sack. I've got a much smaller one now, just for going around the edges. So yeah, being left-handed, it is quite difficult to do. So I'm thinking of getting a, a better, because I mean, at the moment I'm using uh, the camera mic on this. I don't know how it sounds. Um, let me know if it's okay. But I am thinking of getting a, a decent, a fairly decent external mic. Probably a Rode one, because I know they're good. And they do, I mean, I'm not going to go for one that's 100 quid or so. They got one that's 45, which would be fine for me. But I know Rode mics are pretty good. Just to try and improve the sound. I mean... Obviously when I get to a very big section I will go back to using the bigger brush. Oops, that's just gone all over. I, mean, I can go back over them later I guess. It's, just, it's such a big expanse, I don't want to use markers because I know, I mean this is going to be streaky enough. Streakier than the orange one, which, was, which came out quite nice. So yes, I mean, how have you all been? What have you been up to? Have you coloured anything exciting? That reminds me, I've got something to tell you in a minute. Let, oops, I went right over that one. Let me know what you've been colouring. I'll go back over that later. I'll be able to see it if I can. Let me know what you've been colouring. And if you're on Facebook, when I first started uh, my YouTube channel and doing colouring ones, I did set up a colouring group. But I never really posted anything in it and I also never got rid of it so it's just been sitting there pretty dormant at the moment it's got six members so if you want to join my colouring group and share your images with me please just um, there'll be a link down in the description box to the group homepage. it is just called Andrea's Attic Colouring Group so I'd love for you to join me over there. There are a couple of questions that you need to answer before you're allowed to join, but they're going to be pretty simple. You know, if you're a colorist, you're gonna be able to answer them quite simply. And I'd love to see you over there and you can share your work with me. And then if you wanted to, if you watch John the Bibliophile Colorist, if you tag him on Instagram, he shares your pictures if it's one of his colour wrong. So for instance, a whimsical 2020 or gel, jelly January. He'll make a video at the end of the month showing up all your work, which is great with the background music and who each picture's by. Now, I can do that. I just got to remember how to do it. I have put text in videos before. I just need to remind myself. So I would like to start doing that if of course you're interested. So I know some of you do colour out there and I would love to see some of your work. So it's Andrea's Attic Colouring Group. Go, uh, go over and um, answer the questions and see, you know, and, and join me. Um, if you don't want your work shown on the YouTube channel, all you've got to say is um, when you upload your picture is in the description or title of the image don't share on YouTube and I will of course respect anybody's wishes at the moment I'm not getting enough people to to do that anyway so it's going to be a little while before I'm ready for that so but you know come over and join me anyway let me know what your favorite books are your favorite artists your favorite pictures that you've colored show me what you've been coloring this month i would happily have you over there like i said i did start it a few years ago and then it just sort of when i had um, i didn't have that many subscribers and i didn't have that many 
people wanting to join. It was a closed group at that time. I've now made it public so people can find it. And it'll be public for a little while, while people access it. Although I did used to put the link in, but I've, I've done it like that so that other people that are maybe don't think to use the link or aren't on, face, aren't on YouTube can find it if they want to. And um, yeah, so please come and join me. It'd be lovely to see you over there. So... Like I said, I will I will leave a link for you down below. Um, but yeah, I'd like to get some action on that group. Obviously, every time I upload a video, I will link it into that group as well. So that you can see it if you're on Facebook. Um, you can find it that way. So, I would totally love that group to have more people in it. Um, so there's only a couple of people in it at the moment. So, I mean, I've got, and I do understand that people are in lots of other groups, and perhaps they don't want to join anymore. I totally get it. I'm in quite a few colouring groups, and I don't post in all of them. I post in some of them. So, for instance. I post in the Karen Heaven group. I've posted in the Jade Summer group. I've posted in the Hannah Carlson group and so on. But I don't post on Hannah Lynn's. But I don't post all the time because I'm not always doing, say, that one person's pictures. I've just recently joined the Deborah Muller, uh, Muller uh, group. And they're fantastic. And I love seeing that work. And again, her art was one of the ones I wasn't that keen on when I first started, because I, I liked everything to look real, and my people to look real. But now I really love it. I've only got one of her books, but I plan on getting her, the one she's working on, which is, I think it's Best Girlfriends, or Girlfriends, or Best Friends, or something like that. But um, I've seen some of the pictures from that, that she's working on, and oh my God, they are so cute. They look absolutely gorgeous, so I really want that one. And there are quite a few of her other books I'm going to get. There are always going to be so many books that you just can't get them all. You know, you can't. It's impossible to get every single colouring book that you want because there's just too many of them. And if you were to buy every single one of them, would you colour in them all? So I'm, I am trying to cut down to brands I really like, um, artists I really like. And of course, um, ones I know I'm going to colour in. So if it's, um, for instance, at one point I was buy buying all the Selena Fennec books and I still don't have them all. And I bought her pond one, pond flowers or something is called. And I haven't coloured in it and I don't know if I ever will because they're just like flowers. And while I like colouring flowers, it's a bit, uh, I might do the odd one, but I'm not going to do them all. Whereas something like Selena Fennec's goddess I probably will because I love the pictures in it so now I probably if I was doing it I wouldn't buy it so I'm just going to buy the ones that I really like and I know I'm going to colour in because I have got over 150 colouring books as you will see shortly but there's so many I haven't coloured in and it just seems so ridiculous to keep spending money on these books that I'm not actually using. I think I'm just going to do the background in all this, this colour. It's quite a nice colour actually. So once I've gone around all this bit I'll get the big brush out and we'll finish it off. I'll probably go over some of the gel pens if I can over the acrylic where it's knocked one out. I'm not too worried about it. I know I'm not perfect. I'm never going to be a perfect artist. Um, I don't want to be. I'm, I am me. And it's all learning. And this is practice. I'm not too worried about if this picture doesn't look that good. Because I have got the book that this is in. So I can always do it again and I'll do it in pencils. And I'll probably do a pebbles chalk background. 
which I've done a lot of in my Hannah Carlson books. I like the Pebbles Chalks for Hannah Carlson, they go really well. But as you can see, I'm sticking, sticking, sticking to it. Not worried about getting paint on the front cover or I've got a bit on this other side, a bit over here. It's not, it doesn't matter. I, I'm not one of those people who thinks, oh, everything's got to be pristine. I used to be. Oh, when I was a kid, I was terrible when I was colouring. If I didn't get everything exactly within the lines, I'd go spare and rip the picture up. Now I'm just like, oh well. It is what it is. It doesn't matter. It's a picture. You know, I can always buy the books again for mo in the most part. Colour in Heaven are limited quantities, obviously, from where they've been. Only a certain amount have been pressed. You know. But, you know, I, I could probably get another copy of this if I wanted to. I probably won't because on the 29th there other book comes out so they used to do the four weekly one and then one that was quarterly a quarterly yeah quarterly one every four weeks or so or something like that anyway there was used to be three specials I don't know what they call them um, and then they've decided now to do one every four weeks like they do with their main colouring books so they're not giving any hints as to what this new book is only that it comes out on the 29th, which is a Thursday. Now, their books normally come out on a Wednesday. Their main books. Um, the main books are normally people-related, and the other ones, specials, are normally uh, can be anything, but can be animal-related. I don't know, because I've only bought the Christmas one, which... I don't know, was it a nice little Christmas, I think? Uh, or was it the other one? I don't know, there's so many of them. I bought the Christmas one because I wanted the Christmas one and they had it when I went into W. H. Smith. And what I'll do is, we'll be going into Newport on the 1st of February, the day after Jennifer's birthday, just to have a wander around. Paul's got a cheque to pay into the bank from his birthday, which is fine. I will have probably money to pay into to the bank for Jennifer. Um, checks from my brother. They always made out to me and then I just put it in my account and transfer the money to her into her account. So we'll be going in then to just maybe even just do the banking and have some lunch and I will go into Smith's, the rate Smith and if they've got it. If it's something I want, um, I will probably know before the Saturday because somebody will have bound to have posted it on um, a flip through on YouTube and it will also be on there. Facebook page by this point. So if it's one I want, I'll pick it up then, if they've got it in. Because sometimes you find that people are, this one is supposed to be out now. And people were saying they, it's not in their shops yet, so certain shops haven't updated their shelves. They've still got Dark Fantasy on the shelf. Obviously I don't know because I haven't been into a supermarket. I used to get mine from Tesco and I would find sometimes the Sunday after it was released it wouldn't necessarily be out on the shelves so I'd have to wait another week. And I, I found that with the Christmas one if I remember rightly. I went into the, uh, into the sh supermarket the day it was released and it wasn't out and then we went to W. Smith on the Saturday and they had both of the Christmas specials out so I picked them both up which was nice and I have coloured in both of them so, this takes a while I, I do like this picture I said I'm not so keen on the paint because it's kind of streaky but it's just to give it a bit of a background I'm not very good with paints I will admit that I'm not very good at colouring in, in general, but you see some of the work that people do. But I am happy with what I am colouring and I'm obviously improving. But I mean, like some people would say, oh, just go in now on the faces and give it a bit of shading with some pencils. Get your polychromos on it or your Prisma skin tones. And I'm like, yeah, no, I can't bother with that. Because my, my attention span for stuff like this can be quite small. And I don't, 
if I've coloured something and I've already put a shade, bit of shading in, which I have on this, not a lot, I don't really want to recolour it at all. Now there may come a time when I will try it and I might well like it, but at the moment I just, when I finish one, I find it very difficult to go back and make any changes to it. So that's why I'm doing the background now because the other one, the dark fantasy picture, I have a background on. I'm not going to lie, I have done it. And I painted the background and then I wanted to put some stickles on it, like some stars. And to be fair, the book sat there for a week without me doing it. And I know I'm going to have the same thing with this one now. It'll sit here and dry overnight. And then tomorrow, I should really come in tomorrow with the, um, what's it? The gel pen and just go over the bits that I think might need redoing if I can put it over the acrylic. I don't know if I can. And I know I'm probably not going to want to do it because I've already, as far as I'm concerned, pretty much finished the picture. We're just tidying it up. Um, but that's my feeling. And we've all got feelings. But yes, I will be, once this is dried and I've finished it, be sharing a picture of this in Andrea's Attic Colouring Group on Facebook. So yeah, I mean, like if you're on Facebook, you can either... You know, we can go into that group. It's a public group at the moment. It won't be forever. Once we get to a certain amount of members, it will just be, it'll be private. Um, but yeah, come and join me. Let me see your work. Because we can inspire each other to try new things and stuff like that. And it's fun. And we can share our work and say hey I've got this set of pens these are really good I mean in the UK we don't get everything that you get in the States I don't think we can get like the Cali Art markers Shuttle Art are over here we can't get the oh, what is it the ones that Anne was using the, the other day the, the parkour ones I haven't been able to find them so we don't always get what you get in the States so it's interesting for us to see what's available and, and what you're doing and again we don't have like book outlet over here we've got book depository but it's nothing like book outlet so and we obviously we don't have dollar general and, and dollar tree we have pound pound land and pound world but you don't as far as i'm aware get many coloring books in that uh, we don't have michael's or joanne's or dick blick and that we have hobby craft um, and I, I do go in hobby craft when I started I got pencils from there I got my Derwent metallics from in there which are water based what would your water ones you can use them dry or you can activate them with water I got some gel pens in there some cardstock in there for printing pictures out which has been used for all sorts of other things as well but I still got a bit left which is great because there's a load of pictures I would need to print up um, what else have I bought in there? I don't know. Oh, I bought some loose open stock polychromos. They sell them in there. So, um, well, they did. I haven't been in there for so long because the problem I have with, if I go anywhere with Jennifer, of course, I've got to get her in and out of the car seat and it's a bit of a hassle. But... <clears throat> We've got to get her out of the car seat, we've got to put her in a push chair, we've got to push her around, then we've got to get her back. Oh. <clears throat> and it's just laziness on my part, um, especially if I'm only going in for one item. I do want to go in because when the bedroom's finished and it's all sorted out the way I want it, which is going to be like, it's the spare room, but it's going to have all my colouring stuff in it, my colouring supplies. It'll have my eBay stuff in it, like my mannequin and my lamp my uh, proper photo light and I'm thinking I'll be able to film up there so which will give me more time to film because most afternoons not every afternoon she didn't do it today but most afternoons Jennifer has a nap in the afternoon for a couple of hours you're gonna usually hear her when she's not asleep so when she wakes up I can hear her um, but I don't really want to be filming in the same room she's sleeping and she was sleeps in in the living room in her 
travel cart, which is also like a playpen, it's where I put her when I'm cooking and, and cleaning and doing things that I don't want her getting in the way because it could be quite dangerous, she could get hurt. So I put her in there and we put CBeebies on and we put some music on and dance. And she'll sit there, um, but she goes to sleep in the afternoon, most afternoons. She didn't today, which is fine. And then she'll, when she wakes up, I stop whatever I'm doing and play with her or see what she wants. Sometimes she needs a change and sometimes she wants food, sometimes she just wants a drink. Um, but I'll have a proper photo light in that room, which means when she's sleeping in the afternoon, my afternoon's pretty much a write-off for things like colouring and filming because I can't do it with her in the because uh, I don't want to wake her up obviously if she's asleep and if she's awake she's too noisy so it's still not going to be every night because there will be times <clears throat> in the afternoon where she's she won't sleep like I said she didn't sleep this afternoon and I had to stop what I was trying to do and come and sort and just come and play with her she'll play on her own for a while but after a while she yes she'll get frustrated and she shouldn't have to be on her own um so I don't leave her for too long it's usually because I have to go and do something I have to pull an order from the the shed or I have to you know cook tea and it, she's safe in there she can't climb out she's not big enough to climb out it's comfortable if she wants to have a lie down and asleep or it's comfortable for her to just sit there and chill and watch tv and that's what she does um so I'll just be able to film upstairs so it'll be things like getting the um, complete colouring book collection and co completed colouring pages videos done a lot quicker because at the moment I can only do them in bits because the colouring books are kept in the main bedroom at the moment so of course Paul's asleep in there so while I have filmed a bit today I've, I'm, I've, there's still a lot that I haven't filmed because I can't I can't get any more books out now until tomorrow. So tomorrow I might, if I can, I'll film another bit of it. Excuse me a minute while I just pull this card up. I don't want it going through onto the next page, so. Um. So it'll just be a question of, oh right, it's afternoon, Jennifer's asleep, oops, I can go and do some more filming. So that means you might actually get even more videos. So I'm still trying to finish off my Alice picture, oops I just hit the camera with the thing, um, which is the one I'm using to test the W. Smith pencils. Now I'm not going to say anything about that because I don't want you to know what I think about them at this time because I've not finished my review and it's taken me a long time simply because I just don't have the time to do it. Um, if, she's a, if she's in her cot and I'm in the room, she won't sleep if I'm in the room. So I have to be sneaky and potter and do other things while she dozes off. And normally if she's going to go to sleep, she'll go to sleep within an hour of... of been put in there sometimes within minutes it depends on what she's been doing but sometimes it takes her a lot longer which is very annoying but it is what it is um so i mean this afternoon i took the book and pencils that i'm using the root smith ones and the pencil sharpener upstairs thinking right i'll crack on with this now but she didn't go to sleep so i had to abandon it and come back down. I was also looking at the thing and I really don't know what to do. I wasn't, I wasn't feeling that picture today. So as you can see, it's quite swirly where it's obviously streaky, but I don't mind it. I think it's quite nice. And like I said, I'm gonna go back over <sighs> some of the, uh, gel if I can I don't know if it'll go over acrylic I gotta be honest but I will try because they are some of them have been like that one I just almost covered that one up as well 
But yeah, that's pretty much done now. So the next time, oh dear, did it again. Next time you'll see this will be in our completed colouring pages a wrap up at the end of the month when I will have repaired, ugh, covered in acrylic paint, the um, thing. I might try and tidy up the thing a bit. I'm, I'm not too that worried. It just looks like they're in their own sort of ethereal gloop. Um, but yeah, that is um, the sun and moon, sun, moon and stars picture from Dreamtime, Colour in Heaven Dreamtime by Hannah Carlson. I said I'm going to tidy it up a bit, mostly just do a bit more gel pen work over the acrylic if it'll let me. But that will be it on that one, another one completed. I'll be back with another colouring chat when I can decide what I want to colour in, see so it next. I'm thinking, um, let's say we've got some books here that we haven't coloured in. I'm going to choose three books and I want you to tell me which one to colour in. So I'm picking Travels in Time, the Doctor Who colouring book, and I'll just show you that. These, these are here because I've been um, filming those today, so let me just find it. Let me find the ones that I am going to choose from. So, sorry, I've, I've got to be careful, it's got pink everywhere. Oh, dear me. Oh, no, not that one. Right, so we want that one, that one. Ooh, and so I've got books everywhere here and no this one okay so the choice is Yig. you're gonna fall on the floor Doctor Who travels in time we could do a picture from there put that to one side Fairy Tales by Amelia uh, Lederhel Oberg. We could do one from in there. Or my third choice is The Sweet Shop by Chris Price. So it's up to you. Let me know which one you'd like to see me colour from and I will um, colour from that one. Um, I will pick which one I want to do. Oh, I quite like that one actually, but I like them all, I'm not gonna lie. So if you could just let me know which book you would like to see me colour in and I will colour in one of those. So obviously if it's Doctor Who or this one, it will have to be, well not so much this one, this one's actually single sided. Um, so we could use markers in Doctor Who, we can't in Fairy Tales, and we can use markers in this one because it's single sided. So let me know, which one do you want me to colour in? And if we're using Doctor Who or the Sweet Shop, do you want markers or do you want pencils? Let me know down in the comments below and I will do whatever you want because that's the whole point of the channel, we, we, we share. So, yes, that's it for this one. I hope you've enjoyed that. Leave some comments down below. Don't forget to like the video because that really helps the YouTube algorithm promote it to other people. Um, subscribe if you're not a subscriber. I do appreciate every single one of you who is a subscriber and hit the notification bell so you're notified when I do put up another video. So, and don't forget to let me know which one shall I colour in and what shall I use when I'm colouring in them. Let me know and I will see you all soon in the next one. Bye now.